Hi, FGL admins and owners. This is the monk. Uh, before I start the video, this is not an attack on anyone or at the Pacific, the website or any other website or any any individual. It, it's it's just to express my concerns over over certain things, and I, I want things to change as of ACP because um, over the past two months, I've been trying to campaign online i've been doing a lot of things behind the scenes like com contacting all websites uh vfl vcc all the websites fgl and everybody trying to get my message across i've had over the past two months i've obviously i've got depression myself i've been leaving the chats quite a lot because i can't handle the, the, sh the stuff in there that they talk about it does me head in because i'm not in there to listen to that shit. i've got bipolar uh, I think you need to be aware of it because like, it, is a, it is a serious condition that does affect a lot of people around the world. It's not like you don't know what it is. It's an invisible illness. People can't always see it. Um, I have tried to hide it for a long time, but I think a lot of admins are aware of it. I have explained the situation. Um, it's not like I'm, it's not a crime video. It's basically to tell you that the chats need to change. I think there needs to be... A, an under 18 chat and an adult chat not an over 18 not an over 18 chat because i think we use that as a platform for hate i think that needs to change also i think there needs to be a f 10 strike system as soon as they hit 10 strikes they get banned for a week or and they also get put in sub, sub bin for a week and every time and after that it's a month ban a month ban and so on and so on until they get their message. I don't think people need to be life banned. I don't think that's right because, you know, if you're going to keep banning people, there'll be no one outside. You know what I mean? Uh, these people, anyone that's been banned, I also think it applies to them. I'm not talking about people that's been racist. I'm talking about people that's just been banned for just being toxic. I think they also need to be given a chance. Yeah, like I said, there needs to be a 10 strike system. Put them all in the sub bin and, and get a monitor, yeah, an admin to monitor that chat specifically. Get a, a admin to specifically monitor that chat so that it can be monitored. So there's no excuse it can't be monitored because not everybody in that FTL chat is causing trouble, right? Uh, also, there needs to be admins allocated to the under 18s and admins allocated to the adults. I don't believe a, an under 18 admin should be dealing with adults in the adult chat. I don't believe that. It's wrong. It's strange. I don't. I just disagree strongly. If the adults are separated from the under 18s in the chat, I believe that that will, you know, it will cut out a lot of the because a lot of the, the hate and a lot of the the. The, you know the abusers and people think they're clever they're the ones that are you know that they're, they're they're in the 20s they're not they're not under 18 then they should be no they should know better you know also i'll put in the video little clips of actual admins saying things inappropriately in these chats and this is exactly what i'm trying to tell you that they're not innocent so you can't tell me they are and this is what I'm saying to you. There's quite a lot of people in there guilty of guilty of being abused, abusing others. And what I mean is to get is a line called banter and abuse, and all that that line between banter and abuse gets they get protected by that line banter. And this is what I've been trying to say all along. They use Discord, not FGL. I need to make, keep making this clear because every time I'm doing these videos, it always seems to think it's an attack at them. It's not an attack at them because this video is not going online. It's not. It's going to go on private, and then as soon as you've seen it, it's going to get deleted. You see, you know, it, it's, it gets on my nerves because I've been saying it for so long, and no one's been listening. And I think these chats need to change drastically. Not the website. Uh, I need to know. What actually are you prepared to do to change these chats? Apart from shut it down. I don't think that's the answer. Because all you'll do is you'll move one problem to another somewhere else. It's never going to change. <laughs> if all chats implement more rules, 
and more guidelines and policies for people to follow, including admins, because they shouldn't be subject they shouldn't be subjected to abuse neither, or they shouldn't be subjecting anyone else to it. They should be protecting admins and owners should be protecting vulnerable people and people in them chats who just wanna play a game. We have the personal information put up, we have the photos being put up just to diminish people, to abuse people, to bully people, right? That shouldn't be going on, but it does. I put screenshots all in this video. It's not to name and shame. It is just to let you know what I have to see, what affects me, what affects other people. It's not just me, it affects, it's quite a lot of people that have come to me doing interviews and a lot of interviews I haven't put up because it seems to be that everyone's come to me with an attack on FGL and I don't want this to be about an attack on FGL. I want this to be a video that you think, hang on a minute, you know, maybe we need to work with other websites when we all need to change. Yes, I do believe that. The reason for this is I have not. I've said, I've, I've always said things back to people in these chats and maybe that's my, that's my issue. But the thing is, it makes me so angry that admins well i say admins not all of them but some of them i don't know all the admins and most of admins i've come across i haven't got a i haven't got much respect for because they ain't got none for me and it has to come both ways there has to be a point where you have to respect the the, the members because if it weren't for members you you won't even have a website this is what i'm seeing fg needs to be more rewarding for people that are that are good people and just want to play a game it needs to be more rewarding. I mean, what is the you get a you get a you get a trophy on a website? What does that mean to others? It means nothing. It needs to be more rewarding. Like, there's a few other websites that have gone in a different direction. They've gone like with the 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 paid leagues and everything. Yeah, I agree with it. Yeah, of course I do. I think it's all it's like it's 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 more of a competitive. But I hope in the future that like FGO do a paid league. You know, and like not just for admins and things like that, not just for all popular ones, not for all popular ones to get one good decent team. You see, <clears throat> you see, last season when I won weekend poker cup and Bundesliga, I actually thought I'd actually feel better because I was actually depressed and shit. Like, oh, I won't win in now. I actually thought, oh, you know, I'll be alright. I'll, I'm, I've won something now. Didn't feel very rewarding at all. I, I just felt empty. I don't know. Just did. Just didn't feel, just didn't seem right. Maybe I've been there waiting a long time to win. And I really played my heart out. And to be fair, just didn't seem very rewarding. I've enjoyed competitive now for nearly just under five years on... I've been in FGL for two and a half years, I think, and I've been in VFL and VPG, blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, <clears throat> I don't think it's, it's rewarding enough. You know, yeah, fair enough, it's competitive, but I also think it's like, you need to come up with different ideas, like, you know, paid tournaments, paid, paid leagues. I think that'd be a good idea. You also need to, you know, you also need to do, like, give back to the community a little bit. So I mean, all communities have been giving and giving and giving so much to FGL, even you took the time and everything. It's like admins in there feel deflated. They've got they've got no they, you know the passion is not there because they're not they're not they're not getting paid. No, they're giving you the time and, and everything and all they get. You know, and I know this for a fact. Is some admins do feel like they've been just shit on. You know, there needs to be more like I don't know. There needs to be like. It needs to be more fucking like admins used to do st stuff like you know get chat more and stuff. Do you know what I mean? They have, it needs to be that fucking that respect between owners and admins and things like that. You know, it's all right when when and and a company text 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 text, but eventually I mean, you have to give back. People think you're not too bad. You know what I'm saying? Like I know you're not that bad. I know I know, I know quite a lot of admins. I get on with them, but. I don't always agree with it, but I think the sound people. But what I'm saying is, I believe you need to come like, like get, give back a bit to the community. Like have a free, paid tournament. Like maybe it's only fifty quid, hundred quid, but have a, get a sponsorship or something. It's not hard to get a sponsorship. It doesn't have to come out of your pocket. 
There's plenty of sponsors out there that will come forward, you know what I mean? If, if you want me to help you with that, I'll do. I will help you with that. No fucking problem. But I think you need to have a paid tournament, um, like a unpaid tournament as well. So basically, it's a free tournament. Yeah, but you can earn money. It's more of rewards. There's a lot of people that can't afford to be paying three and four quid. I know that sounds stupid, but there is. There is. Just money's scarce, you know what I mean, for a lot of people. Not everybody can afford it. Do you know what I mean? So... I'm not saying me, I'd, I'd do it. But what I'm saying is, like, a lot of people can't afford it. Do you know what I mean? So you need to do that for them as well. Because then they don't feel pushed out. It gives everybody a chance to win it. You know what I mean? So have a massive big free tournament every now and again. Not all the time. And then, like, like at Christmas and that, have a paid tournament. It just gives people rewards or, like, like gift cards and sh the stuff. I mean, there's got to be something that you can, you can like, boost people's mor morale and... And, like, lift people up a bit. Uh, everyone's been going through so much shit and, and so much bad times and that, including myself. It's just that boost, man, you know what I mean? What's wrong with being a human being? You know what I mean, there's so much hate in the world. So much hate in them chats, man. Maybe might bring human being out in some of them. Like a, like a Christmas tournament, man. Like... Seven, 12 days of Christmas tournament, call it that. 12 days of Christmas tournament, everyone gets a gift every day if they win certain prizes and that. So you get to the final. There's got to be something that can be done. If you do, if you need, only if you do it once a year. But I think this, this 2020 has been the worst year possible. Coronavirus and everything. And I think people need lifting up a bit, man. I think that's what it is. I mean, I've, I've had two, two of them. I've had one, one of my mates come to me the other day, like, and I don't know whether I've told anyone about it, but I'm not going to mention his name, but he came to me and said he wanted to kill himself. And he plays FIFA, fed up and just depressed. You know, I spent all night from, like, 11... Uh, no, it'd be about 9 o'clock at... No, 9 or 10 o'clock at night until I'd gone to it morning. Trying to convince him not to do it. He's all right now, thank God. But it's the fact that he did it. I spent all night trying to talk to him about it, you know, trying to say, look, don't do it, man. It's not worth it. Life's precious and that. Do you know what I mean? I spent all night talking to him, man. No one should ever be like that. No one should ever feel like they can't, they can't talk and speak out about what's going on in the world. Do you know what I mean? Like I do when people misunderstand me. I have to sit there explaining myself day in and day out. And people think, oh, Monk's this dickhead. He wants to shut all websites down. He's crying again because he can't get his own way. No. Nah. It's misunderstood all the time. And I'm not going to sit here and explain myself. If you had me listen to this and think, oh, you know, Monk's crying again. No, listen to the whole video. I'm not actually crying. I'm actually, I actually yeah, want things to change. I actually want to help you change it too. But... I want to be an admin at one time. <laughs> Don't anymore, though. <laughs> I've, it, it's a lot of work, man. And I think a lot of admins do a, do, a, do a good job behind the scenes. You don't always see what they do. I know what they do. I've done a bit myself on other websites and that. But what I'm saying is, like, I know the hard work that goes into FGL. I understand this. But... At the end of the day, I, what I want is to, the FGL to take some responsibility and what happens in them chats instead of shutting them down or just trying to diminish their any responsibility in what's been going on. Because if anything happens in them chats or anything's been said and done in them chats, it, it should be the admins and owners take this full responsibility of everything that goes on in them chats because that is an FGL chat. This is exactly what I'm saying. It's like if... You went into any shop and you fell over. It's that, or you hurt yourself. It's that that shop's responsibility to keep that that place safe. Do you know what I'm saying? And if it was if it happens and they they are liable of it, and you know, I don't want in 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 that. And also forgot to mention, I was in another website. I was in another Discord. Uh, chat for another league the other the, a month or so ago, two months ago, and there was another lad in there that was going to kill himself. It was meant, 
He was doing it for attention, yes, but the fact is that the people were saying, you know, do it then and encouraging him to just do it. And I think it was wrong. I, I think these things need to change because if they don't change, things are just going to get worse and then something is going to happen. You know, God forbid it doesn't, but if it does, I want these websites and all these chats to take full responsibility and I want you to come forward and say, we're not going to stand for this anymore as together. Not, not, oh, I'm not working with that website. I'm not working that. I think you all, all the websites need to work together in when it comes down to the hate because they, they use, they're every, all the haters are using Discord as a platform to spread hate. And I think that needs to stop. And I think you all need to work together in a, in a tough fat, like a, like a wall. I'm not going to do it anymore. There's a lot of vulnerable people in them chats. There's a hell of a lot of people that have to listen to this, man, and it's wrong. And they, and you're getting some of them now under the, some of the under 18s. Now, I was in a party with someone yesterday, and a lot, a few of them come in, in in the party, and they were absolute. It was absolutely disgraceful what they were saying, but because they hear it all the time, that is the example that they're sending, and that's exactly what I'm trying to prevent that happening. It's happening all the time, you know. People say you can't prevent hate. No, but you can stop them having a platform to spread it. Don't tell me you can't, because you can. It's a fact. You're going to allow these people a platform, they're going to hate. Simple as that. It's a fact. So, the other thing, hopefully, I've, I've made a lot of suggestions there. But I also think the yeah, FTL needs to give people need to give back to people, even if it, it's you know, like everyone's been everyone's gave this site everything. There's a lot of web. There's a lot of admins that gave this website everything. You know, and they've just been spat out. And this is what I'm saying. Yeah, they make mistakes. Yeah, but they gave the website everything, and they've kept this the website running. You know, and I think they just. I don't know. It, it's, there, has to, there has to be a point where things things start to change for better because if they don't, it's, for me, it's, 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 it's killing it off. You know, it's dying for me. FIFA's in a game is dying for me because of all the shit. You know what I mean? It's fucking ridiculous. Anyway, it will be deleted, this video, and uh, thanks for listening.